Hey buddy, it's Evictus. It's time for our lost run here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit. I know I didn't end up doing another video yesterday. I ended up getting busy with stuff, so I do apologize about that. But to make it up to you, I'm going to be playing as the lost here in the first run. We might even sneak a greed run in afterwards, just depending on how good or bad this one goes. So thank you very much for all the support, everybody. Hope your new week here in 2024 is starting off to... The best start it possibly could and speaking of uh new new starts here we have ourselves a brand new data sheet this one's sent in by ice cream swagger tile thread was episode 916 statistical chart and this is the stuff this is the kind of stuff i can really get behind here so they said congratulations everyone today we marked the highest of the highest of multiple stats this year with episode 916 i'd like to shout out holy mantle as the mvp of this run as it blocked the most damage uh for times hit with 22 being the highest of the four runs so far the floor the floor is clear is amazing because it took our first r key run of the year to get there if you'd like to see specific numbers and rules that i use to accumulate my data the link is down below and then they also put a link there on the reddit so i'm not going to link it down below here because youtube does this really weird thing right now where it blocks like external links I don't know why it's doing that. It's even blocking stuff to my own website. So not sure why that is. But if you want to go see those uh, st statistical charts, uh, go over to this Invicta sub subreddit slash r slash Invicta. Thank you very much, Ice Cream Swagger. And we're just going to hop on into this. It's been a bit since I played as the Lost. So we got to be a little bit careful. And we're starting with the XL floor. So there's that. Uh, Sierra Zero Seven Hotel, Papa One, November Delta. We've got ourselves the Book of Secrets and the Eternal D-Sizzle, which, of course, I'm going to take some chances with. Yeah, come on down, little monstro. We, no, I, I'm, I'm okay, little monstro. Okie dokie. Um, man, I feel like we got to go Death's List here. I would love to take Sacrificial Altar, but, you know, we just got little monstro, so we, 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 we're, we're not going to sacrifice him immediately. We're not going to betray him like that. Not like Sissy. No, never. Um, so yeah, we gotta be careful on the lost. Obviously, one hit, we are dead. Um, obviously, talking about Ice Cream Swagger's uh, data that uh, they've been putting together. Hopefully, the times hit in this episode is zero because if we get hit, we die. Um, but hey, we got a shot speed upgrade. But obviously, with the lost, you do have the insane potential to ball out of control. Um, he's just fragile. That's that's the only thing. Like he's very very easy to die, especially with the propensity of the game to actually hit you for more than once you got to be real careful about double taps and uh obviously starting off with the holy mantle is very good but you got to be you got to be quick you got to be quick on the draw in terms of your uh, of your attacks and your movement speed all that kind of stuff because it's very very easy to get yeeted right out of a lost run and we don't want that to happen um an empress card here so we do have death list and the most important thing about death list of course is don't go out of your way to make it happen if it means you're going to take hit you're going to get damaged um yeah don't do that your room maybe of course starting off on on curse the xl is a little bit of a, a little bit of a turd in the punch bowl here just because we don't you know i i talk about it every single time we get to this point where it's like you know curse the xl sucks and this is why we don't want curse the xl blah 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 um just know that it's bad. It's real bad. Uh, there was a run that we had recently on on Twitch not that long ago. It's the term recently. Where Curse the XL was almost responsible for killing us. Like, it was real, real, real bad. That's less giving us a damage upgrade there. I love it. Eden's Blessing is going to give us a tears up as well. I'm trying to hold off from firing from Little Monstro because obviously I want to try to preserve Death's List if possible, which we did. We got a range upgrade. Dude, we're getting all kinds of stats. Um, yeah. I guess we just go fight the boss here. Obviously, movement speed and tears are going to be something that we want. And, of course, any any sort of extra life. Just to, just to have a little bit of a little bit of insurance. The loss can be strong, but, he, again, he's very fragile. And I apologize about uh, not getting a second video out yesterday. I ended up getting busy with stuff, and then that was just it. I was like, yeah... Yeah, I gotta, gotta get stuff done here. Um, but I figured since it's been a while since we play as a lost, more than makes up for it because obviously we don't play as a lost every single day. Um, although that would be fun, it would be also stressful as all hell. <laughs> I don't like being stressed when I when I play Isaac. I like I like having fun. I like you know I just I just like playing the game and without without worrying too much. Get a range upgrade. Gonna get nuke that one and. So the Eternal D6, obviously we've already been in Devil Deal, so there's no reason to go in there. Um, the Eternal D6 will have a chance to reroll pedestals, but it can also consume them. 
And that's kind of a problem. If you're lucky, it won't do anything. If you're unlucky, like me, it takes basically all of your item pedestals and just destroys them without them coming back. Like, they're just done dizzle. Um, Super Secret Room's probably there, but we don't have a bomb. Maybe get lucky and roll into a speed upgrade. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And we have a golden key, so hey, that's right. I remembered this time. So, very good start here. We got tears. We got damage from death list. Good. He is looking good. Now, the only good thing about starting with an XL floor is that if you do, like, we just got a free .55 here's a, for just walking and hitting a button. That's where Death's List really shines. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. It wasn't important. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we were able to get some quality upgrades there. You know, having having Death's List is, is really, truly remarkable whenever you can make it work. But obviously, again, the priority is to not get hit. Um, especially, especially as the lost. You know, will we get an extra life or two? I don't know. I hope so. Um, but if you're lucky with the rerolls, the Eternal D6 becomes very, very, very important in lost runs. Uh, honestly, Sticky Bombs is not great either. If we weren't playing as the Lost, I would definitely take Sticky Bombs because there's just there's no problem getting away and stuff. And yes, we do have increased mobility with flying and stuff. However, I don't trust the way that Sticky Bombs work given the frailness of the Lost. We're getting all kinds of stuff. This is nuts, man. I've never seen Deathless pay out so quickly before. Okay. And right there is why I don't like the Eternal D6. Um, the fact that it can just totally consume a, an item pedestal is, yeah, real bad. But when it works out, it works out, and it's great. When it doesn't, it's uh, it feels feels bad, man. Obviously, Soul Hearts mean absolutely nothing to the Lost. You have 17 cents, but we have no key to get into the store, so and never mind. There we go. It feels feels good. You can go dip in here real quick. The Super Seeker might be north of here. It's tough to say sometimes. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. This time it's not. Um, 20 cents. We definitely are motivated to go get to... Uh, the shop. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. So, the one of the only few good things about starting with an XL floor is the fact that you do have a very... You have a very fast-tracked boss rush. Oh, man. More options is so good here. Yeah, there's no way we re-roll that. Strength card doesn't really do much for us here. I'm actually shocked that the Seek Room's not here. Well, actually, no. I might take that back. No, I'm not. Should have known better. And it can't be there, so it's in the elbow room of this room down there. But we don't have a bomb, so... Super Seed Room's definitely there. Yeah, so Pestilence, this this represents an item that we de absolutely do not want. I don't care about Death List. We've already gotten, like, more than a run's payout worth of Death List in, like, two floors. So, not concerned with, with trying to make Death List work here. Gosh, that got a hold of that one. Yeah, so we're going to re-roll that and get absolutely nothing, which is to be expected. Curse the Lost on the Lost. This is where, you know, it really does show you how strong having flying is in any situation. Um, having that increased mobility, having that increased defense, essentially, it is imperative to any safe run, especially when you're dealing with a very fragile character like the Lost. It is super important. And the fact that he 
the fact that he comes out of the box with Holy Mantle and flying just means, I mean, you should be feasting. Like, you should be frothing at the mouth for the, the potential. But again, don't let that don't let that debate you into thinking that like, oh yeah, you can just be totally reckless and whatever with the loss. Like he like he can still die very quickly. I have no idea what hit me there. Okay. Mr. Mega and glitter bombs. Eh, I'll take PH Dizzle. PhD is I mean the the effectiveness of PhD is greatly diminished right now just because we've already gotten so many stat ups and we also have the loss, so you know, we're not going to really need any like HP ups or anything like that, but at the very, very least, it gets rid of negative pills. Um, so if we end up having to take pills out of desperation, we at least know that hey, you know, we've got we've got at least a little bit of help. So a Bumba. Okay, Bumbino is not an easy boss to not get hit from. So we want to try to do as much as we can to keep him in the middle of the room. We just want him going back and forth. We don't want him doing that. We want him, you want to keep him, it's, it's just like fighting Monster 2. You want to keep him stuck in this loop. If you can do that, then you should be safe. Pentagram, which is going to give us a significant damage upgrade. Man. We can only take one of these. I mean, we got to go Death Touch. It is going to give us the tears down, but man, oh man. Having the piercing shots with this build and Spectral Tears. Mm. Part of me really, really, really wanted to rip it there. But spectral piercing is just so, so, so dang good. Health up does literally nothing. We can actually gulp perfection. Now, if we really wanted to, we could leave this room and try to min-max our... Uh, our death list in there and try again to try to like, you know, make it happen, but decided not to. 15 cents for five keys is extremely good. A very good buy. Been spending money in Raid Shadow Legends and there's a there's there's even a calculator. It's so funny. There's a there's I don't ever recall something like this existing in Summoner's War. Uh maybe there was and I just didn't know it, but um a member of the Mosh Pit community has been helping out uh, with uh, with raid, like helping myself and other people, and he gave me a he gave me a link to a website that like gives actual numerical values to like deals that raid pops up with because like that game's filled with uh, with pop ups and whatnot and, and ads for you know for microtransactions, and you can actually input like all the values like this is how much they're asking for this is what's inside of this of this pack you know is it worth it and then it grades it on a scale of one to five um, five plus. Um, or maybe it's one to ten. It, it's something. It's something like that. Anyway, it assigns it a num numerical grade, and then based on that grade, will tell you this is a must-have. Pick up, pick it up right away, or like you know, this is like stay away from it. It's not worth your money. So just like that, again, it's easy to be distracted. Got to pay attention, man. Loss is good, but he's he can die very quickly. Down with Ice Cube. Ice Cube's going to just randomly freeze stuff, which may be an anti-synergy with Death's List. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Obviously hoping for an Emperor card here. Any kind of any kind of teleport card is also pretty invaluable when it comes to playing as a loss because you're able to reset Holy Mantle. Um, so like Fool cards, Stars cards, anything, anything that can cause you... Anything that can cause you to leave a room and just and just hard reset it is very valuable. Um, so, like, if we take... I can't believe I haven't found the, the freaking item room yet. If we take bad damage on something and, uh, you know, it's, like, early, early on in a fight, we can just simply just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... Let's try this again. Yeah. 
Turns out the frozen enemies don't actually affect the uh, death list. That's good. Want damage though? I'll take range. Range is fine. I mean, Sad Onion maxes out our tiers. It's actually going to go over the tiers cap because we've had so many procs with death list. So increased firepower is some of that good, good stuff there. Look at that. We get another half tiers rate upgrade just from t just from death list. So we are well over the tiers cap now, and that's fantastic. Get a damage upgrade too. What is? What are these payouts, man? This is one of the strongest death lists that I've ever seen. I mean, we never ever get stats like this to pay out so quickly and frequently. Colonel Hart does literally nothing. Okay, got another dangerous boss here. We got Cage. Actually, gonna pop the Empress card now because Cage is kind of annoying. This is where we wanted to have spectral tears along with our piercing shots to keep us safe out of BS rooms like this. Cat of nine tails, which is good enough. We want shot speed and damage. We got shot speed and damage. Yeah. And we have plenty of time for boss rush. Now, we did pick up Eden's Blessing, which means that we got to be careful when it comes to the next... I'm not careful. We just have to be aware that it's going... That we're going to get another uh, another item on our next run. Depending on how well or how not so well this run goes. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but I think I... Oh, let's walk right into that one. You go, but you see that the uh, you see that the the death list is not affected by the frozen debuff. Definitely wouldn't mind getting guppy. Nine lives, of course, is the ultimate goal here. Another damage up. Sitting at almost eleven damage right now, man. Mom's key, it's totally fine with me. Might as well buy this mom's coin purse because we do have a PhD. We get ourselves a range upgrade, invested. Health up does nothing. Health up does nothing. What is this? Gulp. Yeah. No. As well. Down with it. And health up does nothing. So we're definitely going to be flooded with resources here in a little bit, thanks to Bomb's Key. But we don't want to do boss rush. I mean, we could do boss rush, but I'm not going to. Like... There's just no reason to. If we were going for unlocks, would we be able to do it safely on this run? Uh, I mean, nothing is safe when it comes to the Lost. Man. Man, oh man. I think we got to take Inner Eye here. Going through all of our keys, but we got him back. Still looking for the Tinted Skull. Not in any of these directions. There it is. Okay. And we can bomb this here to increase our double deal chance. 29 cents. I don't remember if there was anything worth rolling in the store. I think we bought everything. Um, and I'm not rolling the boss trap room because I don't... I always forget whether or not if the, if the Eternal D6... Consumes the item pedestal, does it remove or does it start the engagement? Go to like 975. I don't want to go past that. Because I don't want to I don't want to accidentally risk, you know, resetting the donation machine running. The donation machine uh again was uh That was a that was a sad day in the mosh pit. Okay, up against mom. Still got to be careful here. Little monstro will help us out greatly. There we go. Take the Polaroid. Go check out our devil deal. I mean, empty vessel does give us a shield. 
And shields are very important when it comes to the lost. Yeah, I would take it. Might as well. Ooh, Anima Sola. Now you're talking my language. Now, now you're speaking my language here. We'll happily take Anima Sola. Super strong crowd control. Don't have to worry about locking down bosses because Anima Sola is going to do that for us. We don't need to worry. We're not dependent on tier effects or anything like that. Anima Sola just works. And I will happily add it to the team here. You know, I had a feeling that was going to be small rock. I'm going to take it. I don't like the movement speed down, but we're still doing okay. Plus, we get a nice tears up from small rock. Okay. So, Anima Sola, again, is going to give us some very powerful crowd control abilities. And uh, we're going to use that exclusively to lock down bosses so they can't hurt us. Um, or anything, really, that gets too close to Isaac. We can we can just shut them down. Empty Vessel, of course, is going to give us a Empty Vessel Shield. Um, which is very, it's very, very, very powerful. And again, just any, any type of defense you can get on the loss is, is going to be good. Feels like the right way to go. I don't know why. We're at the point now where we're not really caring too much about death's list and and more focused on just staying alive. Um, and we have to be very, very, very careful of our movement speed because again, small rock is not an automatic pickup for me anymore. I think small rock is legitimately sometimes bad because of the movement speed down. If you didn't have the movement speed down, then it'd be no problem. There's the empty vessel shield you see there. Easy peasy. And we go straight to the boss. That's what I like to see. Is mean blastasis. We got to be careful of blastasis. Surprisingly dangerous boss. Uh, excuse me, mom. You kind of missed that. Kinda, you kind of missed a little bit there. Krampus fight. And we don't have to worry about Krampus ever attacking. Oh, no, old baby. Up a coal. Now we're talking. I actually don't want stem cells. Our, our shot speed is quite high enough. And it will affect uh, Lump of Coal's DPS a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore stem cells. Big pinky eye. Just a little extra damage. I don't want to go through the big room if I don't have to. Well, bandage literally does nothing for the lost. And again, this is just the power of Anima Sola. This is what you take the item for. You lock down bosses before they can even do anything. The sooner that you, the sooner you kill them, the sooner you're safer. I don't know why Anima Sola goes for frozen targets that are already dead, but that's Isaac, baby. Love to see ourselves an Emperor card or something. I kill this jerk here and just, fro just freeze him. It does also work on statues for some odd reason. The inner eye definitely was the... Big call there. Good, good call for us. No. I mean, Cursed Eye would work, but we don't need Cursed Eye. Like, it, like it could and would work, for sure. Um, but I'd rather not have to worry about, like, tap firing and stuff. Because we can't take damage, so it doesn't matter if we have Cursed Eye. Like, like not taking Cursed Eye there is, is not because of the teleport, because the teleport is just a non-factor. Mother transformation here. 
All right, so this is going to be the hardest fight up until this point. Yeah, we'll take another range up. Definitely down with it. Pretty fly. Okay, I can see forever. Oh, whatever. Gears up. Gives us a one hundredth of a, of a point. Okay. Yeah, we got mom already down to like 40% before she can even spawn. And yeah, she's just going to die. So that is the power that we're talking about of Anima Solo. And that is just a diggity dunk and a half. Absolutely smashed. And it's items like Anima Sola that you just, you have to know their value going into it. Like, you know, because yeah, re-rolls are great. Even, even, even ones with the Eternal D6, they're great, but the Eternal C D6 can't do that. You know, there's not very many items that can do what we just did to mom there. Mega fatty, mega dead. And dead without even being able to do anything. You'd love to see it. Didn't even see that shot there. I was too busy, too busy focusing on the eye laser. We get a range upgrade. And I mean, we just have big old, big chungus damage here. Empty vessel shield proking. I love it. All right, so there's the three wrong directions that we could go. I think that was a rainbow champion. I'm not sure. Let's go in the curse room. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a... Envy is going to be a non-issue here. <laughs> I mean, we're just crushing things left and right doing this full clear here. That's, that's quite the room here. Five five haunted chests. Definitely don't want Dead Sea Scrolls, although it would be nice if it proc'd the uh if it proc the Book of Shadows. I'm not gonna lie, I would have I would have checked this card here. To see if it was an Emperor card, so I'm not going to let the mod show me. But it's, oh, Wheel of Fortune, oh, that sucks. For soul hearts, for the soul heart god. Look at the range. We can actually hit that, that bony all the way from across over here. We're still hitting over there. Wherever he is. There he is. Now, Blorbs, you got to be careful with, because obviously they like to get those BS hit, it hits in. Okay, and now we get to go embarrass Isaac here. We don't even have the 9 volts, so like it's not like we're doing increased amounts of damage or like increased duration stuff for these mobs. We're just this is just base Anima Sola. He's already on. He's already on phase three. Go for maximum rage here for the chunkage of uh, Lump of Coal. Yeah. And he is just dead. Dead, dead. Anima Sola is fantastic. We get, uh... Yeah, I mean, Capricorn... If it's all sats up, Mom Perfume is going to also break the tears cap. Gimpy is totally useless, and so is uh, Tele... Telekinesis is not totally useless, per se. It's just not... It's not Anima Sola. How perfect would that have been if that was an Emperor card? Okay, there we go. There's, once again, all the wrong ways to go, everybody. I don't know who's over here. Oh, apparently it was Brownie. Okay. I'll take Intruder. 
And because we have the ice cube as well, this is actually freezing things as soon as we get into the room, so it's even more crowd control. Like, this is just... I mean, this is... We're just... We're just doing this dirty right here. Like, we can go kill one boss before the other one even gets, like, unfrozen from the ice cube. And it's actually kind of beautiful. No. Leave it to adversary. All right, so there's the northern side of the map, everybody. Now that we've gone the absolute total wrong way to go, we can go in the right direction. All right. All right. Not a character that you want to be going in the wrong direction in, ever. Be careful, Gertie, here. Shot speed. We didn't really need or want more shot speed, but we got it. Somehow Loki was there, or Little Horn. I'm not sure how. And you'll see me pulling off of the of the target a little bit because I'm trying to maximize the amount of space that we have in between targets, so we can really, really hit him hard with lump of coal. Girl Bones does nothing to us. Again, it's just time to go embarrass Blue Baby here. Yeah, be careful of jostling. Our, our shot speed is very high, and that's going to do it, especially with Envy Vessel. Man, oh man, what a slam dunkage that was. Down goes Little Horn. Little horn? Yeah, sure. Down goes blue baby. Let's run it back. Let's run it back with the uh what are you what are you thinking? You're thinking Isaac? I mean we did get Eden's blessing. Let's do a, a little a little Isaac Greed run. For funsies. Oh my god, okay. Uh six Echo Hotel X-ray six four November four. We're starting with Polyphemus. So our damage is um It's it's quite strong. Um, really don't want a movement speed down. So, I mean, if we're going to get an HP up, I'd rather get just a regular HP up. That doesn't you know, affect our movement speed at all. Okay. And we can use, this is going to be painful, but we can go all the way across here. Maybe get a key. Get bag lunch. We get two cents as well. Um, okay. Very funny game. So, yeah. So, Eden's Blessing from the Lost Run start us off with Poly freaking Femus. And, I mean, I'll take it. Look, if you're going to if you're gonna give me a softball here game, hey. You know, we, we absolutely mollywopped you with, with the Lost. Mostly thanks to, you know, Death Touch and Animasola, but... Death's list, yeah, honestly, in the in that in that lost run, like Death's list was the unsung MVP. Like we got so many stat ups from from Death's list. I've never seen it pay out so frequently with with like actual quality stats. What the hell? Did Spider just did he just spawn a crawl space on us? Pretty sure he did. Notice how those spiders started underneath the coins, by the way. Another way that the game tries to schmoove on you. We, we one-shot everything here. All right, well, we might as well go see what's inside of the uh, crawl space. And, eh, I mean, Lucky Rock, sure, I guess. There's not really a whole lot of rocks to destroy in greed mode, so it's not really that useful. Um, I, I wouldn't mind having a half-price half price, uh, HP upgrade. Half-price marbles is not bad either. With Necronomicon, which, yeah, certainly a item that exists. Got old Dookie. I am going to miss our Spectral Tears and Piercing Shots. 
even though we have that trademarks Invicta pseudo piercing with uh, with Polyphemus, I mean another Duke. But obviously we got to go. We got to go Devil Deals here. Anything that we get in terms of damage, uh, like damage based tier effects, like Brimstone, Mon's Knife, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all that's going to be super charged now that we have Polyphemus. Gotta get off the creep here. This is why we didn't want Thunder Thighs. We do not, do not want a movement speed down in Greed. You don't want a movement speed down in general, but especially in Greed. Things can get out of control very, very, in a very hurried fashion in Greed. I don't know how we managed to DPS these two down evenly. Somehow we always managed to do that. Not sure how. Of course. Ah, that's why. They wanted to get one extra hit. Got it. Yeah, Monique's power is great, but it's not good here. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'd rather I'd rather run the risk of, of rolling a good item like Monique's power and just give me something better. Damage is not something we need. But I'm going to take it. I'd rather have the pentagram than Monique's power in this one, in this spot. Um, we could get marbles... Me a little clot. We might as well get another damage upgrade with glass eye. Movement speed upgrade. Well, we can get, we can buy a key and open up. We're not done yet. We ain't, we ain't done yet now. Hang on now. Hang on now. We can buy a key. Open up this golden chest, which might have a bomb in it. it has two bombs in it. Okay. Okay. Now, what we do is we take Lucky Rock. Then we try to get the Soul Heart. Okay. So we have one more chance. We could either look for the Secret Room. Or hope that we can we need to bomb as many as many possible rocks as possible. It's only gonna be three and there's no pot up there versus two pots and a rock. I'll, I'm willing to risk it. Not quite enough. Well, I tried. Definitely tried. Okay. Would have loved to have gotten a movement speed upgrade there, but what can you do? And I think I'm gonna stick with we stick with a little clot. Yeah, let's stick with a little cloudy. Come on, little cloudy. A movement speed upgrade here. Loving that. I'm not loving Isaac's face, though. Well, we don't have to worry about his face now. Ooh, I see myself a D12. The D twizzle up in here. The little clot is going to help us out with DPS. Obviously, he's going to be doubling our shots, which are going to be heavily augmented <clears throat> by uh, Polyphemus here. You know, Twenty point three two damage is um, quite a bit. It's quite a lot. Obviously, we need some tears ups, or ideally, we would have something that that totally just bypasses our tears rate, uh, like Maw of the Void, Revelation, uh, Mom's Knife. Basically, would be nice. Any anything like that that allows us to deal the full front loaded effect of polyphemus without having to ramp up through our tears rate is ideal. All the void would be fantastic. So land the smackdown on all the waves there. I wouldn't mind starter deck. Oh my Gertie. Say it ain't so. Oh. Hoping that we we're gonna get the counterfeit penny. Okay, so that pays for a key. Let's go see what's inside of our room here. It's gonna be sack dagger, which you know, sack dagger's okay. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna poo poo sack dagger. 
We hit those spikes, are you kidding me? There's no reason to re-roll with the D6 here. Synth oil is fantastic. And I would like to get toothpicks as well. I don't know if that's going to happen, though, with this amount of money. We're going to need a lot of help on money. Sack Dagger is... I don't want to say it's as good as it ever was, because that's not true at all, but... Sack Dagger is still good. Like, it's still going to carry you through a majority of the game if you, if you are efficient with orbitals. If you can do it safely, yeah, Sack Dagger is your best friend. So we're two cents short here for the toothpicks. Of course, the Devil Deal Waves don't give you anything, so... As far as money is concerned. Incubus and Sanguine Bond. I'm definitely going to take Incubus. I don't care too much about Sanguine Bond. I mean, we talked about it. We talked about how much damage. Look at all the knives. We talked about how much damage we can do and being able to front load that Polyphemus damage with something like Mom's Knife, any type of tier effect. And uh, boy, howdy. Not only do we have one Mom's Knife, we've got a, a whole trio of knives. I'm not going to say we're at full build or anything like that. I'm just going to, I'm just saying right now, we're very, very, very strong. Um, Incubus, Claudi, you know, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, like, you're not going to get too much more out of wanting in a greed run. Or any run in general when it comes to Polyphemus. You know, I'll take the I'll take the freebie game. I will take it. You know, we had a it, it was it was all from the lost run with us having that having that Eden's blessing, which I don't even think we rerolled into with the Eternal D six. I think it was just in that item room, if I recall correctly. As you see here, we're just absolutely shredding everything. Did lose our little clot, and that's fine. Even the even the incubus knife is still just it's just one tapping everything. Okay, so this is gonna give us a key. This is the reason why I didn't end up buying that or give us a bomb, but we're gonna get a key from over here. Then what we can do is we can go over here and definitely do not want blood rights. I, I will take SMB super fan though. And we swallow the little Claudi, so that's good. Squeezy. Eh, Squeezy's not really that useful here. We have Mom's Knife. It's really not, man. Like it Squeezy's not a not a not a need anymore. The five tapper. I will take Birthright on Isaac, though. And he essentially turns into Tainted Isaac. He just doesn't have to worry about inventory. He get, But he gets the uh, item pedestals. So I want to take this before going into the Devil Deal because that's going to affect the Devil Deal as well. Oh, man. Uh, that hurts my soul. There's no way for us to get that either. Look at the damage, though. Good Lord. I mean... <laughs> I mean, do we? Yeah, I think we do. I think we just we lean into it. I don't want Fear Shot. I don't care about Fear Shot. God, but imagine what would happen if we were able to get the four and a half volt, man. <coughs> and the four and a half volt with this build would just be just unstoppable. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, well. Uh, 
Adrenaline would give us the second syringe item, so we'll, we'll take it. And the four and a half volt, though, man, that one that that cuts deep. That one hurts my soul. Having Jello with Mom's knife and the four and a half volt and Polyphemus and Incubus, shoot. We'll take the Holy Mantle. Although it was actually probably smarter to take the key there, we would have saved money. So, yeah, raw liver. Oh my gosh, dude, we are we are feasting right now. So now we have Jello and uh, Mom's knife. And what's so what's so great about this about Jello and Mom's knife is that you don't even have to like let go of the fire button. Because Jello will literally just do it for you. <laughs> so, yeah. I love that there's there are there's a group of people. I mean, I don't love it. I think it's just funny to me that there are now there are now people who actually don't like me taking Jello because I've shown how good it is, and they're like, okay, we don't want to see Jello anymore. It makes things too easy. Like, bro, bro, freaking what? What's next? You're gonna tell me that? Oh, you you can't use your movement movement keys. It's too easy. Come on, man. <laughs> like a couple weeks ago, you would have never cared about Jello ever, and now we're we we've gotten to the point where we're it's there's Jello haters out there. How can you hate Jello, man? It's so good. take little horn here we do not want cube baby and absolutely take raw liver just we just gotta have that <sighs> crooked penny mm -hmm. maybe i just need to i need to start picking up like bad items and make them seem good so people will start complaining about that one instead leave jello alone uh, we don't need range anymore, but I will take it over movement speed. I mean, the the battery is really, really good here with Jello. That guarantees that we get a uh, at least two Jellos against Super Greed or Ultra Greed. I mean, and we absolutely want Champion Belt here for more damage. And school bags. Bring in. Just a bunch of knife wielding babies. <laughs> this is this is madness right here. This is absolute madness the best possible way yeah watch what happens to the bosses they will they will yeah they're dead yeah little horns already dead big horn didn't even get an attack off forsaken's already dead yeah that is that's how much power we are rocking right here uh yeah not even worth honestly taking we didn't even go to the item room yet. What am I doing? I do want school bag in case we come across something that I really, really want. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, now... Oh, gosh. All right. Now it's just getting out of... It's just getting out of control now. Oh my god. We got Pisces as well. Stick a fork in him, coach. He's done. I mean, it's just, it's just so, it's just all kinds of over. No way we'll survive this. We got double super envy because, I mean, why not? But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It just does not matter what the game throws at us at this point. And more envies. How exquisite. This is this is 
This is what cutting the games to rib the game to ribbons looks like. Yeah, Bloat was alive before he... He was dead before he even spawned. Conquest got one shot. I can't even see the mobs appear on the screen anymore. Hey, you know, give me the quarter. Okay, quarter. We don't really need a tears up here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna roll. I mean, tech zero, it's probably not going to do much for us, but nice to have, I guess. Mom's ring, it does give us a damage upgrade, but I think we've established that we don't need any more damage. Uh, nine volt, it's kind of whatever. God, if only we had the four and a half volt. I mean, let's, let's, let's not get it twisted. Ultra Greed's going to, he's, oh my gosh. He's going to die before anything even happens. Like he's Ultra Greed straight up will not will not know what hit him. It's going to be that fast. This might be one of the fastest Ultra Greed kills you'll ever see. Didn't even mean to use Jello there. Actually kind of mad that we did. We end up getting spun anyway. Yeah, okay, so it's not gonna be the fastest Ultra Greed anymore because we accidentally use Jello like a dummy. Sun's habit would have been nice too, but yeah, Ultra Greed's already dead. That is an absolute blasting there of greed. So what a couple of runs. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope that makes up for yesterday's super short episode. I do apologize once again about that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Your question of the episode today is going to be, what are your what is your opinion on the loss? Do you love him? Do you hate him? Is he a dangerous character to you? Or do you just really enjoy being overpowered and getting those free devil deals? Post them in the comments down below. The top three most upvoted comments get read on next week's episode. Remember, go check out the subreddit slash r slash Invicta if you want to go see the data sheet that Ice Cream Swagger is uh, producing for all of these episodes. Really incredible stuff. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks to pages of mine like Heather Furlong, Isaac Johnson, and Bataloid. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac's episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.